All right, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, Monday. Actually, I want to stay up here for a moment. So we're going to do a five-station rotation workout. And um, super excited to have you with us to start our new week. This is quarantine week number six uh, for those of you in the San Francisco Bay Area. So uh, hopefully uh, you're handling all this. And uh, I know if you're doing your workouts, taking care of yourself, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier. So um, today's also day uh, one of our six-week transformation challenge for our members but we have a few folks starting our 21 day some new people starting our 21 day as well if you want to know more about that let me know all right so uh let's get it going let's do some breathing here so let's start off with your feet about shoulder width right hand on the belly left hand on your chest let's get grounded let's get connected i'm gonna scoot over a little bit here take a deep breath in with your eyes closed feel that belly rib cage expand then your chest go up Really expand that chest. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Exhale through the mouth like you're blowing out candles and feel that belly draw in. I'm not doing anything, nothing to look at. Focus right now on you. Deep breath in, belly rib cage expands for four, three. Keep inhaling, two, one. Hold that breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale, blow out for four, three, two, one, tall length and spine, inhale, deep breath in, four, three, two, one, hold the breath for four, three, two, and one, exhale, blow out for four, three, two, one, let's now change that breathing pattern to an inhale for four, and an exhale for four without the hold, you do it on your own, just want to talk to you about a couple things first, just keep breathing. Inhale, expand the rib cage. And then exhale, blow out. Feel that belly draw in. Now, you keep breathing on your own. Nothing to look at. I just want to, again, remind you all, for those of you who haven't heard me talk about this, that breathing is our number one primal need. There's nothing more important. If you don't breathe, you will die without five, without five minutes of air. There's nothing more important. Exercise is not important. Hydration is not, important, is not as important. Sleep is not as important as your air. Thankfully, we don't have to think about it. We have an involuntary process, but if we consciously slow our breathing down, we slow our heart rate down, we have less stress, less anxiety. Our nervous system relaxes. Our muscles and you know, systems work much better. So that's why I start with it every day. While you're doing your breathing right now and keeping that Tall length and spine. I want you to connect to the ground if you're not. I really want you to think about your little toe and outer foot. Little toe and outer foot. Most people roll their feet in and prone or pronate. So connect. Every time we're standing, feel that connection to the ground. Feel those roots. And with your, when you're breathing, when you exhale, feel that stronger connection to the roots. All right? So I want to mention that. Let's get going. Let's go ahead and just rotate right now. Rotate right. Rotate left. Ah, good. Whew. Monday. It's always a little bit harder to get up on Mondays, whether I'm live or online. Ah, oh, a little change of pattern. Stayed up a little late last night. Started watching Ozark. Definitely a little uh, addictive. So let's go ahead and rotate right, rotate left. Not a good show to probably watch before you go to bed. Ah, oh, keep going right, keep going left. All right, good. Let's go ahead and side bend. Let's get, open up those hands. Rotate. Belly drawn in a little bit. Actually, you know what? Don't even worry about that. Let's just go ahead and breathe normal. Don't worry about the belly drawing in. If you're having a load that you're carrying, that would be different. You can draw the belly in, protect that back. But right now, just let it go. Ah, oh, good. Good. Let's go ahead and do some big arm circles here. So today, we're doing a five-station rotation workout. Five station rotation. We're gonna do five main strength workouts, strength, five main strength exercises, and we're gonna alternate with five core or cardio movements. We're gonna get our heart rate up on the cardio movements. The heart rate's gonna go down on the core movements, and that's okay. All right, let's get the whole body involved. Let's go back again. Big circles. Come on. Whole body. I'm hinging. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. 
Other direction. Inhale, exhale. Heart rates are going up. New week, new opportunities. If you had a bad week last week, it's okay. If you had a bad day yesterday, hey, it's okay too. Let's go ahead and go into a why. Today is a new day, new opportunities. I know a lot of folks are struggling out there. It seems like uh, all my clients that were my 5.36 a.m. people are struggling the most because now they don't have to wake up that early. Not, I'm, I shouldn't say all, but um, a lot of people who I thought had super ingrained exercise habits are being challenged more than ever. And it seems like it's hitting those 5.30 a.m. people the most. So, I don't know. It's just a different lifestyle, right? We have to adapt. Got to go to bed earlier. Let's do some scarecrows. Scarecrows heart rate should still be up. Let's go right, left, right, left. Keep going. Come on. Opposite arm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, hands up. Ah, squeeze those shoulder blades, side bend, belly drawn in a little bit now. Come on. Ah, oh, that's good. Open it up. Great. Okay, let's do some back lunges. Back lunges is one of our main exercises today. All right, we're going to go ahead and go up and down. Inhale and exhale. Right now, a little more of a stretch. Open everything. Close everything. Inhale. Belly goes out, rib cage expands. Exhale, blow out, draw your belly in, engage the bladder and the sphincter muscles. That's the pelvic floor. The front side and the back side of the pelvis, of the pelvic floor. Got the bladder in the front, the sphincter muscles in the back. Hard to think about those. Reach up. So this is exercise number four today. If you want to make this harder and your form is Amazing, hold something here. <sighs> okay, good. Okay, now let's go over uh, a couple other standing movement patterns. Number five, exercise number five, Romanian deadlift. Feet about hip width. Let's pretend we have something in our hands here. All right, we're gonna stick that booty out, hinge. I only need to go right to about my knees. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Eyes on me. Chest is up, shoulders back and down. Many people think in many areas that more is better. They go like this. That's a problem. More is not better in this case. More is not better in a lot of cases. All right, let's stick that booty out. I want to go right about there. Do you feel that stretch right here in your hamstrings, upper hammies? Okay, squeeze. One of the best exercises you can do for hamstring strength, for knee rehab. Could all benefit from more hamstring strength. The butt, the backside, is the key. The go muscles. All right, we're gonna do that today, with or without a weight. Ideally, use a weight on that one. If you don't have any weights, do a single leg. It'll make it a lot harder. Okay. Next, uh, let's go over uh, split squats. Split squats. Just take a, a kneeling position. Take your legs out. It should be 90-90. Knee under the hip. Knee over the ankle. 90. Bigger step, easier on the knees. We're going to come up and down. Let's do five. Up and down. If you're adding a weight, how about we add a weight on the same side as the back knee? <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Other side. Here we go. Big step. Can't remember what side I just did. Okay. Yes, that one. Chest up. Generally, we'll have the belly in a bit. If you're loading, draw the belly in. Right now, inhale down. Exhale up, pelvic floor engagement. Inhale, exhale. That knee should be in line with your second toe. We're doing a couple more. All right, so that is our three of our five main exercises. We're also going to do a yoga push-up. All right, so let's come on the ground real quick. Yoga push-up. I'm going to do it kneeling. It's also called a Hindu push-up, but it's not really politically correct, I don't think. So let's go uh, hands. A little bit outside the shoulders, thumbs open. We're going to basically go head, nose, chin. We're scooping, and we're sitting back into it like a child's pose. Head, nose, chin, scoop, and back. If we were off the knees, 
looks like this. Wider feet, kind of like a downward dog position. Head, nose, chin, scoop it, sit back. It will call this a yoga push-up, all right? That is that, all right. And our last one is a row. Okay, our last main exercise, I'm not gonna show the core or the cardio movements, but that is it. So row, pick a row, a bent over row. You can do one arm. If you have a couple dumbbells, you can go right, left, right, left, or double. Or TRX or a band row, pick something when we get to that station. Let's start off with our split squats and we'll get going. Are you ready? Split squats. We're gonna alternate with crossover mountain climbers. So that will get our heart rate up, okay team? So let's rock and roll. Let me just take a look at, just wanna make sure everybody is muted here. I think we are, and please mute yourself if you're not. I think everybody is, I just, just to make sure. All right, I think we're good guys. So let's get this party started. Ready, we're gonna take very little rest from here on out. So we got split squats, everybody ready to go? Can I get out of the screen now? Let's go. All right, split squats, 40 seconds. I'm like stuck in a little box right now. I need to see big box. Sorry guys, technical problem. Oh. Can't see myself. We have not started officially yet. You're highlighted. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I can't see myself. <laughs> I see all the little boxes right now. I can't get it off. Oh. There it is. Jeez. All right, here we go. Let's do it. 40 seconds. One foot forward, one foot back. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. We're going 20 seconds each side. Inhale down, exhale up. If you're making it harder, you're adding a load to the back knee side. Eight seconds, shoulders back, inhale down, exhale up. Come all the way up, switch sides. Here we go, here we go. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna be alternating with crossover mountain climbers in a moment. Modify with the standing variation. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one. We have 10 second transition in between. Let's come on the ground here. Spread those fingers, course through the elbows. We're gonna go knee to opposite hand. Knees barely off the ground. I want you to draw your belly in. Draw the belly in. We're gonna alternate these two movement patterns for three sets. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Shoulders back and down, push into the ground. Halfway, 20 seconds. Keep that belly in, come on now. Rotate from the midsection. Drive your leg straight back, nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, split squats, here we go. 10 seconds, second set. Feel a little looser, I'm gonna go a little heavier. Stay tall. Whatever leg is back, can you go a little bit of a load? Holding on to that, that weight to make things more challenging. Only if your form's good, if you have no pain. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Other side. Here we go, pull those shoulders back. Holding on to something for balance. Knee in line with your second toe. All the way down, all the way up. I'm not touching the ground, but right before that. Inhale, exhale. All right, perfect. Mountain climbers, modify right here. Standing mountain climber variation. You got it. Make sure if you're standing to go opposite arm, Opposite leg. Getting those heart rates up. Drive it. Knee to the opposite hand. Let's keep those knees barely off the ground. Breathing. Every exercise, every rep, there should be a breath component. 
My heart rate's driving. Come on now. Push into the ground. Don't let those shoulders round. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Third and final set of our split squats. Let's do it. All right, pick your leg. What leg's going back? Load that back leg. Stay tall. Inhale, exhale. Ah. <sighs> You got this. Pull those shoulders back. Good job. So it's four minutes per station. It's about five, including the rest. Switch sides. About five minutes per station. There's five stations. It's about a 25 minute workout now. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Keep working, team, all the way up. Come on, squeeze your butt. Ah, mountain climbers, let's go. Let's go. Final set. We'll take a very short 30 second break. After this, we'll be doing yoga push ups and a core exercise, a lower ab curl. Come on now. Rotate from your midsection. Bring that leg all the way back. Don't cheat yourself. Our word of the week, by the week, is flow. One of the things I'm working on is flowing through life, not trying to control it. Flow. Come on, everybody, come on. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time, 30 second break. Layer off. Water time as needed. Today's warrior day, by the way. Warrior day. It's just back when they had basketball. You may remember that. All right. So, heart rate's up. It's my heart rate uh, percentage right now. I'm at 86%. You can tell because I'm out of breath. So, if you're out of breath, you're probably above 85% or 85% or more. And that's our high intensity zone. We don't want to live there because we can't live there. Tying my shoes. All right, yoga push ups. Are you ready? Yoga push ups, team. Let's get in push up position. We're scooping, we're coming out of it. 40 seconds. Hard to do these for 40 seconds. Ready, set. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Modify. I'll show the modification right now. Head, nose, chin. Bring it back. Head, nose, chin. Bring it back. <sighs> Off the knees to make it harder. You don't have to go as, as deep of a scoop if you want to modify. Just go a little scoop. Bring it back. Halfway. Want to make it harder? Go big scoop. And back. <sighs> Recovery's on the way back. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Belly drawing in. Gives you more back support. Legs are off the ground. One more if you can. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, flip over on your back. Leg curls. All right, leg curls, or lower abdominal curl. We're gonna curl up and down. Curl up, little ball down. Hands behind your head. Keep it tight. Let's keep the belly in the whole time. Heels towards your butt. Glue your elbows to the ground. That's your anchors. Lift your pelvis. It's a reverse crunch, often called a lower abdominal curl. Come on, guys. Come on. We got seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to the yoga push ups. Ready for it? Let's do it. Yoga push-up time. It's one of my favorite exercises. Actually, my favorite exercise is this one. It's the reverse called the dive bomber push-up. You go up and back. You can do that one if you like. It's a scoop both ways. It's a little bit harder. Maybe not just a little bit. It's actually a lot a bit harder. Inhale. Exhale. So the yoga push-up gives you that little recovery. You don't have to 
work on both ends of the, of the push-up. <sighs> Come on, everybody. You got this. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two. We got one more. Ah, good. On your back. You don't have to go too far. <sighs> right into the low ab curl. Pretend you're holding a foam roll between your heels and your hamstrings. We're going up and down. <sighs> Notice my knees. Notice I stop there. I can keep my belly in when I'm in that position, but when I bring my legs down, my back tends to arch. I want to keep that tension on the abdominal wall. Make it harder by putting your hands behind your head and glue your elbows. Come on now. Keep the belly in the whole time. Every time you come up, exhale through the mouth. Engage your pelvic floor. You got this. Finish it. Three, two, one. Time. So we're going back-to-back -back core exercises. This yoga push-up is a pretty good core exercise, too. If your core is stronger, you're going to get more push-ups in. Here we go. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. That was the dive bomber push-up. I'll do a couple of those every once in a while. Inhale up. Exhale back. Remember, belly in, more stability, more strength. Monday morning, so much opportunity today, this week. Let's make it the best week ever. Ah, come on now. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, final set of this second station this is our second station of our five station exercises knees on top of the uh the hips belly drawn in let's bring it up curl down how slow and controlled can you bring that pelvis down control it i'm not swinging my legs i am moving from my obliques right here try not to use those hip flexors if your hips are getting tight your back's getting tight you're probably using your hip flexors. Curl with the obliques. Put your hands on them. Right there. Right where my hands are. I want to curl from there. Come on, we've got about 15 seconds left. Do this. We're going to rest for 30 seconds. Coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good job. All right. Instead of breaking for long, I just want you to jog in place. Jog in place, okay? Let's get those heart rates up. All right, so our next station is going to be, keep jogging, rows and seal jacks. Rows and seal jacks. So think about how you want to do your rows. We're going to make it for 40 seconds. I'll give you the halfway. If you want to do a one-arm row, go for it. TRX row, if you have one of those in your house, go for it, all right? Any row you want to do. And we're going to alternate with seal jacks. Let's do some seal jacks together. We're going to go, uh, let's go forward and back. Toes up, laying on the balls of your feet. And we're going to go this way with your arms. <sighs> Modification. Keep moving, everybody. Come on. Keep moving. Part of our workout. <sighs> this is our modification. You could also do it this way if you like. There are all various forms of seal jacks. <sighs> Whatever works for you. Let's go. Let's find a row. Find your row home. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go one arm rows right here, chest up, row the boat. Okay, ready, three, two, one, go. Let's do it, back foot is on the ground. Inhale, exhale, I want you to inhale on the pull, opposite of normal breathing pattern on pull patterns. Feel that back heel on the ground, solid connection. We got three seconds left, let's get two more reps. Other side. Here we go. Collarbones up. Let me see you. Elbow drives. Elbow drives. Come on. <sighs> Drive that elbow. We're going seal jacks in five, four, three, two, one. Time. Remember, if you don't have kettlebells, dumbbells, get those water jugs. Lots of different sizes. All right, ready? I'm going to go this way. It's a little easier on my knees. Toes up, everybody. Toes up. If you're not jumping, do something like this. 
everybody can do a variation of this. I know you can. <sighs> Come on. With your arms, let's really open them up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. I'm turning my thumbs, squeezing low hands, easier on the neck. Come on, come on. Heart rate's a riser. Heart rate's a rising. We're gonna go down when we do our rows though. Three, two, one, time. All right, if you have a TRX at home, you happen to have one of those? That's awesome. Looks like this. I'm gonna do these set here. Here we go. I know lots of you uh, have TRXs, or some, or they're also called suspension trainers. <sighs> suspension trainers. The lower I go, the harder it is. The higher I go, the easier it is. <sighs> so if you can challenge yourself, we only have 20 seconds left. If you're doing your one-arm row, make sure you've switched. Chest up, chest up. I'm getting tired, my shoulders are starting to round. So I'm gonna make it easier. Almost there. Come on everybody, three, two, one, time. All right, so you got your own row model at home, whatever works. Okay, in and out, let's cross. Here we go, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Modify as needed. I'm gonna show you our heart rate monitor here. Bill, I think it's in recovery day. Come on, Bill. I'll give you a break though. You only did what, 30 miles over the weekend? Come on, everybody. Ah. Blue zone is your aerobic zone, by the way. It uh, stays blue until you're about 85. At 86%, it goes orange on this particular software. Three, two, one, okay. Back to rows, back to rows. All right, what do I wanna use? Okay, I'll stick with this. I'm gonna go black kettlebell. Black kettlebell is, I don't know, 48 pounds, chest is up. As my weight gets heavier, I wanna make sure I draw that belly in, support my back, use my elbow to keep my chest up. Drive the elbow. Come on, one more. Other side. Let me see your eyes. Keep your chest up. Anchor that back foot to the ground. Drive your elbow. It's only three sets today. Come on now, seven, six, five. Your belly's still in. Four, three, two, one. The jacks, seal jacks. All right, here we go. Modify right here. Right there, it's fine. You wanna go the other one, forward back. That works. Let's do the best you can not to stab the ground. How do we do that? Toes up, land on the ball of the foot. Keep going. Heart rate, ah, it's rising. This is the end of our third round. I'm sorry, yeah it is, yeah. Okay. And the third round, open. Finish it, we got 30 seconds rest after this. Ah, three, two, one, time, little break. Keep moving your feet if you need to. If your heart rate's sinking, just keep jogging in place. Keep jogging in place. Remember, more steps you make, more calories you burn. So try not to watch myself or the other coaches when we're talking, keep moving. How are we doing everybody? Go back to the screen, give me a thumbs up if you're doing okay. Awesome, Brandon, nice. Jackson, how you doing over there buddy? You and your sister. Cheryl's good, all right. Gary, we good buddy? Yeah, all right. Rhea's working outside, that sounds like a good plan. All right, Catherine, let's go. Okay, what are we doing? Back lunges with an arm raise of some sort. So for the most part, you do not need a weight. All right, I'm gonna add one. Not too heavy. Give you my side view. Okay, here. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> okay, that is our movement, with or without weight. If you have not perfected the skill of this, don't add the weight. 
Ready, three, two, one, go. Here we go. Feet about hip width. Eyes on me, eyes on you. I'm watching you. Come on now. Come on, Catherine. You don't need, no overhead lifts for you, Catherine. You can just do this maybe, but don't even add the arms. No arms are necessary. If you have any shoulder issues, so this is not for you. Just do the lunge or the back lunge. Woo! Chest is up. Save your shoulders. Be in good form. Come on, team. We're doing a hip opener crunch. So follow this guy. All right. That definitely brings your uh, intensity up by holding an object. Okay. Hip opener crunch. Let's start here. Legs up, belly drawn in. We're gonna open up and crunch. Open up and crunch. Keep the belly in. I wanna make sure that belly doesn't pop out. So I'm gonna every once in a while check myself. It's called the hip opener crunch. Inhale, down. Exhale, blow out without letting your belly pop up. Engage the pelvic floor as you come up. Bladder, sphincter. How wide can you open the legs? Three more seconds, two, one, time. If you feel your belly popping up on that, don't do the crunch part. Just open your legs in and out. Okay, here we go. Lunges, back lunge, shoulders back. Ah, reach, take your time, inhale. Exhale, inhale, knee align with your second toe. Pelvic floor engagement at the top. Blow out, bladder, sphincter engaged. Inhale, exhale. Got about 15 seconds left, come on. Your pace, you could be going faster than me, it's okay. You could go slower than me. Modify with a smaller step. Come on, three, two, one time. Great. Those are hard. <laughs> Much different holding the weight. All right, five seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Legs up. If you're modifying, if your belly's popping up, just do the hip opener. Concentrate on this. Is your back flat? Is your belly staying in? Keep it in so you don't train yourself to, to have a bigger belly. Lots of people do crunches and sit-ups and planks and actually get bigger bellies because they're doing the movement with their belly out. Or maybe you have what is known as diastasis, which is the tearing of that abdominal wall. Very, very common. Three, two, one. Time. That's why I don't do a lot of sit-ups and crunches. I know a lot of people out there do have that problem. I'll mix them in every once in a while, like I did today. All right, here we go, final set. Inhale, exhale, a little closer. Inhale, exhale. Reach up for the sky team. Back leg is getting a good stretch. This is the bottom of our third inning of our fourth station. Remember, we're doing five stations today. So we're almost done. Reach. Reach. Come on, team. Let's go. A few more. A few more. Reach it. Three, two, one. Time. Hip opener crunch. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Let's get it going. Belly drawn in. Reach. Your pace. Keeping that belly in. Breathing as you exhale. That's the most important thing. Breathing on the way up. Exhaling on that way up. Flip that air out. Come on, open your legs a little bit farther. How about you, but I'm getting a little tired. Come on, guys. Finish with me. Come on, you, we got this, we got this together. Three, two, one, time, good work. Let's stand it up, jog in place. Jog in place, 
Heart rate shouldn't be up too high. Not on a sit up, that's what I expected. I feel like it was higher, but I am winded a little bit, but I knew it wasn't up in that orange. So I mean, we're both in our aerobic zone, Bill and I. All right, we are gonna go to our final movement. It's actually the most important movement. Keep jogging right now. Most important movement, I actually, in the program design today, I was gonna put it first, because it is important to have really good form for this movement in particular. It's the Romanian deadlift, so keep moving. So we don't wanna be fatigued when we do this, because if you round your shoulders a little bit mu too much, you go a little too low, you could hurt your back. So if you have any back issues, do a bridge or that single leg deadlift. Okay, so again, be careful when you grab your weight, chest up, hinge. Okay, we're going feet together, pinch your shoulder blades, forward bend and up. Notice my hands do not go much lower than my knees. Go! Here we go, let's do this. Give me my side view. I'm pinching my shoulder blades. Belly's gonna stay in to protect my back. I'm gonna exhale on the way up, squeeze my butt hard. You squeeze your butt hard. Come on, inhale, exhale. Strong grip on whatever you're holding. We've got about 15 seconds left. I don't need to go too low, but I want you to hinge with a flat back. Really stick that butt out, feel that stretch. Come up, three, two, one, time, great job. Jump squats or squats. Feet about hip width, we're gonna go arms up, load, explode. I know some of you have neighbors. How soft can you land? It's actually good to have neighbors. I want you to control your landing, <sighs> okay? A lot of people hammer down. This is our modification. Knees align with the second toe. Come on, everybody. Land soft. Soft landing. You got this. We got less than 20 seconds. <sighs> Higher you go, more explosive you are, more power, more calories. <sighs> Come on, drive. Rhythm. Inhale down, exhale up. Rhythm. We're flowing. That's our word of the week. All right, Romanian deadlift. Ah, ready. Let's do it. Stay focused. I know you're a little tired. Chest is up. Feet about hip width. Inhale. Exhale. Give me my side view. This is bad. Lock it. We're always working on posture. The weight wants to bring you forward. It wants to round your shoulders. We're working that whole back side. Pinching the shoulder blades, not engaging the neck. Squeeze hard. Booty, get that round booty. Summer is coming. Five seconds, four, come on. Keep that squeeze. One more. Ah, good. Jump squats or squats. Set, bottom of the second inning. Modification right here. Side angle, knees. They can go forward a little bit. We just want to emphasize that. Hinge. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. All right, now let's get that rhythm. Soft landing like that cat. <laughs> Use your arms to get up higher if you can. Breathing. 10 seconds. Come on, Kim. Come on, Brandon, you got this, Catherine, Bill. Jumping, four, three, two, one, time. All right, Romanian deadlifts. Let's go. Let's do it. Final set. Bill's in the orange. All right, good work. I'm not doing anything. Go for it, guys. It's all you right now. Nice job, Michelle. Good work. All right, Brandon. Good work, everybody. Think about uh, the load you have right now. Go a little faster if you can. We got 20 seconds left, but squeeze your butt at the top. Grab that handle, whatever you're grabbing, grab it tightly. Here we go, Gary, inhale down, exhale up. Pinching those shoulder blades, great job, Rhea. 
Nice, few more seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Janet, I saw you, I didn't know you were even on this call. Good job. All right, guys, jump squats. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Let's go. Here we go, let's do it. Inhale down, exhale up. You shouldn't be jumping, do not jump, for God's sakes. If your knees are hurting, your back's hurting, just go squats. It's good. Good work, good work. Bill's going the extra mile. He's doing burpees, the guy hasn't had enough. Good job, buddy. Halfway! Come on now, come on. Come on, Kim, come on, Amy. Jason, let's do this. All right, all right, we got a few more seconds. Eight seconds to be exact, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Great job. All right, we got a quick little finisher. Bill's in the 90, I was just kind of hanging out. You see how fast it is to go back down on those heart rates. All right, good, let's go to the finisher. Okay, we're just gonna do a, a little karaoke movement, karaoke movement, cross front, cross back. You wanna make it harder? Add a touch, okay? That is our movement. We're gonna go 20 seconds of work. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, Tabata style. We're gonna go uh, three minutes. I think we'll do three minutes. Yeah, ready, set, go. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Cross over, so it's cross front, cross back. When you touch the ground, if you're touching the ground, Keep your chest up, look at me. <sighs> Athletic movement, full body, three, two, one, time, okay. 10 seconds rest, 10 seconds rest. Five more, five more, yeah. Three, two, one, go, here we go. Cross front, cross back, agile, like a cat. I'm gonna use my word flow again, because it is the word of the week, flow. There's a program called Animal Flow. Feel that movement. Cross front, cross back. Three, two, one, time. Okay, good. So Gary, try to, can you cross over? I don't know if that's okay. If it hurts your knees, don't. But cross front, karaoke. Cross front, cross back, try that. Go, here we go, number three. Yes, there it is, cross front, cross back. There we go, you wanna use those hips. Kinda like that crossover mountain climber. We're getting the hips involved. This is gonna help your salsa dancing as well. Yes. Good time to take up salsa dancing. Three, two, one. Okay, we're halfway done. We got three more. 90 seconds left in our workout today. 90 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Come on team, come on, finish this up. Keep your chest up. Always concerned about alignment, posture, breathing. Those are my foundations. Crossover, right, crossover, left. You got this. Three, two, one, time. We got two more, we got two more. Heart rates are going up. I know it. We're gonna cool down after this. Here we go. Bill's in the hot zone. He's in the fire. Let's do this. We wanna get in our, our orange zones, even if you're not on my screen right now. Bring yourself up to an eight, nine, 10 on a 10 intensity scale. Three, two, one, time. Nice. Let's keep working, guys. We got one more. One more and then we're gonna cool it down. Keep working, keep working. Final one, 20 seconds left. We got this. Come on, finish it up strong. I'm gonna show you calories right now. That's our calorie count. Bill's working harder. But I got more calories burning than him. What do you think about that, Bill? Come on, guys, let's finish it up. Three, two, time. All right, good work. Jog it out easily. God, not jog it, but march. Good work, everybody, good work. <sighs> Catherine, we gotta get that heart rate monitor set up. I know you got an Apple Watch or something. Keep breathing, I know Heidi's getting hers. If anybody needs a heart rate monitor, let me know. Janet, you too, I'd love to see you. Your heart rate on there. Ah, breathe. All right, active cool down. Every time you grab your chest, 
Grab your knee to your chest. Knee to chest, breathe. Let's bring those heart rates down. Yes. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Yes, good. Good work today. Five station rotation, Monday. <sighs> so we're gonna usually burn around 400 to 600 calories or so. Ah, good, slow it down. Good, let's do a leg cradle. Hang out here for a moment, balance. Shoulders back, hold on to something as needed. Holding on to something. If you can grab that knee up, that'll help. Other side, this is my tighter side. Whew, much harder. All right. Mm. My knee does not like this too much. <sighs> Means I gotta keep working on it. Stay tall. So our word of the week this week is flow, everyone, flow. I, was, I work with this uh, lady online. There's a little energy work on me. I don't need to get into all that, but she, uh, she came up with a word for, of flow for me. Just kind of move a little easier in life, you know? Let's go ahead and go wider, wider feet. Let's shift. You know, I find it difficult. I don't know if you do, but I'm working on a project. And I just, you know, I know I can finish it. Maybe it's an email or you know, I write up all these workouts and I find it difficult to like stop in the middle and maybe go meet my, my family for dinner or, or lunch nowadays. My wife may call me and say, hey, lunch is ready. Come on up, have lunch with the family. And I, I really struggle with stopping what I'm doing. So I'm in, I'm in, I'm focused. And uh, yeah, I feel bad about it because you know, you only have a few opportunities to connect sometimes with family members or friends. So I'm working on being more flowable, <laughs> more, uh, more relaxed with my, um, with what I'm doing. So flow is, is the word of the week this week. All right. Turn to the right back leg straight. Ah, keeping that back leg straight. So where do you need to flow? What area do you need to flow with in life right now? Slow inhale, slow exhale. Are you struggling with just, you know, being told to stay in? We just gotta flow sometimes, right? Other side, back leg is straight. Back leg is straight, get those hip flexors. So great work today, everybody, Monday. Monday challenge. If you want more information on our 21 day challenge, let me know. For members, it's a free six week challenge. All right, bring your uh, knees to the ground, hands under your shoulders. Let's go ahead and bring those heels to the ground, let your head fall. So my goal with these challenges is to keep you focused. Right now, lots of folks are distracted and thrown off the routines. So my goal is to reel you back in, especially those of you that work out at 5.36 a.m. I found, again, that those are the people that have been challenged the most because you really don't need to get up at five o'clock anymore, right? For most people anyway, I don't. So we tend to stay up a little later and that throws off our old routines. We just have to create a new routine right now and then find ourselves in another new routine or back to the old routine in the near future when we get out of this quarantine. All right, finish up in child's pose, everybody. Child's pose, sit back, relax. So yeah, so I hope that you uh, take part in our, in our challenge. When you join, you'll see all the resources, the meal plan, the mindfulness practices, so much content I threw into this. Um, so I hope you uh, get a chance to do that, take a look at it. And uh, it's in the challenge resource area. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know, okay? So uh, that's it for today. Happy Monday. Let's have a great Monday, great week. And thanks for joining. Bye, guys.